this is William, your videographer from Two Hats Publishing. I hope this video can make you think because it's going to make me think. After I had taken the interviews, I decided to take a few shots of the flags at City Hall. And to my understanding, or to my way of looking at it, Dallas City Hall flag is flying high and the Texas flag and the United States flags are just hanging their heads in shame. Let's find out why. Men, unarmed men, 
and Dallas Police Department sweeps it under the rug. We say no more. We say no more. You're not going to kill our family members anymore and get away with it. We are going to make sure that Clark Stoller is indicted, prosecuted, That's and right. that he serves the time at the state penitentiary. That's right. We say no more. So I ask you, it's a small group today, but just know we have thousands of supporters that are behind you guys are just the real warriors. You know, every time we post something on Facebook, we get 3,000, 4,000 kids. People are watching. So our job is to keep them engaged. You know, get on the phone, do phone time. Every Friday, phone time. Make 10 phone calls to somebody. Do you know exactly what's been going on? And tell them some of your experiences and what you have learned. Because a lot of people are just not familiar with the statistics. We, you have to show them the statistics. And the statistics don't lie. The statistics say last year, eight unarmed men were shot, died viciously, most notably James Harper and Dixon Sutton. That, that wasn't a lie. That, that was real. And a lot of people saw it. A lot of people witnessed it. In regardless of what the medical examiner say, and what the Dallas Police Department say, and what David Brown says, a lot of people witnessed it. So I'm just saying, we will continue for it. We're going to continue fighting. We're going to continue struggling. We're going to hold these people accountable. And if anybody's like me, we're going to walk this wall all the way to the finish line. That's right. 9514, you better not clean! 9514, you better not clean! All right, my name is Colette Flanagan. Um, I'm the mother of Clinton Allen. My son was murdered on March 10th uh, by uh, Officer Clark Stoller, uh, badge number 9514. This is his face. Uh, typically when uh, officers kill, the first thing they do is take all their pictures down. But we were fortunate enough to get this killer's picture before he went down. Um, Clinton was 25 years old. He was unarmed, he was alone, and he was shot down like an animal. And, and I even have to correct myself on that because you can't even shoot an animal seven times and not go to prison, you know, not go to jail. Uh, we want uh, Clark Stoller to be indicted. Uh, we want him to be prosecuted and we want him to serve prison time. Uh, there have been over 60 unarmed men since 2001 in Dallas, Texas that have been murdered by Dallas police. 96% um, of that number are African American and brown men and 98% of the officers that do the killing are white officers. That's a problem. None of these officers have ever been indicted. That's criminal. Uh, we now know that the reason that these officers are not indicted is because District Attorney Craig Watkins' office goes into the grand jury and, and uh, says a little speech and convinces them not to indict. We knew something was criminal about how can you have so many officers that have killed unarmed men uh, shooting them seven times like my son and, and he was shot once in the back. Then you have Tobias Mackey shot nine times once in the head. No matter how egregious these thugs kill, they still get off. So you have a Chief Brown that is endorsing this behavior. He signs off on uh, these watered down investigations and when that happens he endorses uh, their behavior. It sends a message uh, that this behavior is okay. Um, and then you have District Attorney uh, Craig Watkins who refused to indict these men. So there is a bad culture that exists and that is fostered by these two men that, that should have been a, could have been a dream team for our community. Uh, these uh, two black men that came from our community, raised in our community, went to school in our communities, uh, used our tax dollars for student loans uh, for their careers, and they come back to our community and they turn a blind eye. Um, so they're, they're no dream team. They are a nightmare uh, for our black and brown community. Uh, so until we uh, can get a, uh, a chief that is willing to do his job and admit 
that he has some bad apples in the forest. And when these bad apples rear their ugly heads, they must be eradicated. But no, Chief Brown stands behind these thugs at all costs. No matter how egregiously these thugs murder, the first thing he will do is issue a statement and say that the shooting was justified. Even before the investigation is complete, he will say the shooting was justified. So he stands behind these few thugs that do these egregious uh, murders, uh, murdering in our community and uh, district uh, attorney is his wingman. Uh, so until we can get these two men either to do their jobs or to move on uh, and let somebody come in and do their jobs, it's going to be hard to get justice in Dallas. But uh, we are going to get justice for Clinton Allen. Two Hats Publishing. Thank you for watching our little video. If you'd like to see more videos of this kind, please leave comments to that effect in the comments section below, or we'd love it when you call. All videos for the week are posted by Tuesday afternoon. So have a great day.